Hey everyone, thanks for joining today to Stephen K. De Silva Ministries and my broadcast here on Facebook Live. I'm a little bit late today, so I apologize for that. I just got done pre-recording next week's message, so sign in on that one. Next time, it's every week, I do Monday at uh, 12 o'clock noon Pacific Standard Time. And that's what time it is right here, right now. And I appreciate a couple of you jumping on. And uh, so let's get started. Today I wanted to continue working through some of these questions that people are sending in. And I had a terrific one today. Uh, this person, to the question, what is the uh, number one hurdle that you needed to get over at, that would bring you to a class like mine? So imagine the setting. I'm teaching a, what's called an AMT, Accelerated Ministry Training Class, which is about seven weeks long, I think. And these are students. They're all millennials mostly, and they range from age probably 20 up to probably 55, 60, somewhere in there. I have about 50 students in the class. It's a lot of fun. And uh, this particular person, I don't know how, how old they were or who it was. I don't, they're, they're all anonymous questions. This one is this question. The hurdle that I need to get over is this, that I am not big enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm not driven enough, just enough to make money, that I can only just get by. So this person has this idea about I'm not enough, I won't be enough, I can't do enough. What am I going to do about that if I ever hope to succeed with money? Well, I chose that question because that word enough is something that is a theme among Christians. People who come to me, and I do have non-believers, so I want to open up the spectrum here, and you need to realize there is a common uh, language that is spoken among many people, and that is, how do I have enough? How do I get enough? How do I be enough? How do I do enough? How do I do that? And it's very common. So here's what I wanted to answer that question with a couple of, a couple of ideas. Let's think of them as stages. You've got stage one and then stage two. Now there are stages three and four as you get more and more advanced. But let's get back here to answer this question at stage one. So stage one is let's posture ourselves as a prosperous soul. And I've got three steps for that posturing. Number one, breathe. Take a deep breath. Just rest for a minute. Just, just give yourself a moment so you can think, so you can grow, so you can hear, so you can make a decision. You know, the world is so frantic, isn't it? It's just crazy driving us constantly. And it's endless, all the things that we have to do. So I want you to just, for number one, breathe. Number two, realize. I want you to realize something. That money is not real. The, it is an illusion that there is not enough money to go around. It's not true. You see, money is an idea that people have captured in some kind of an item. And then they turn around and they sell the item and we all agree upon a price. And we exchange money as a medium to work out our lives. So our lives is the key, but money is not. Now often we focus on money and that's a mistake. By focusing on money, we begin to think that there's just not enough to go around. That for you to succeed, someone else has to be denied. And that's not true. The truth is there is plenty of money. There's money to go around and you can have it and they can have it. So number one is breathe. Number two is realize. And number three is settle the idea of enough. You see, the, the thought that, there, that you aren't enough or that your money isn't enough, it's really collected around an idea of value for yourself. 
Yeah, it's kind of an individual battle. It's an internal warfare. The idea that you don't have enough is based upon a comparison between you and another. And when you're comparing yourself to someone who's ahead of you or carrying more financial capacity than you, you can judge yourself as, I'm inadequate or I don't have enough. I'm not like that. You see, settling the issue of enough is really a heart issue around the question, who are you? I deal with that directly in a different subject and a different content called Prosperous Soul. If you're interested in finding more, go check out my book called Money and the Prosperous Soul or the subject matter called, it's a workbook called The Prosperous Soul Foundations. You can dig around on those subjects in my website store. But really, that is how you answer and settle the question of enough. It's an inside job, and you need to do that first in order to posture to have a prosperous soul. So we're talking about the first stage, three steps. Breathe, realize, and settle. Okay? So what's the next stage? Well, the next stage we've already covered in earlier Facebook Lives. And that is the, the four step sections, the four steps that are nested into the product called Prosperous Home. Prosperous Home is my real practical guideline and workbook on how to manage wealth and break away from cycles and begin to soar and increase in your home economics. In that, I talk about four steps. Discovery, rule of holes, become the bank, and debt assault. So once you have postured, then you can begin to execute these four steps in the second phase. The second phase is found in Prosperous Home Manual 1. And I'll just quickly cover those. Discover. You need to understand what your current LGS looks like. Living, giving, saving in terms of a percentage. You need to know what your current net worth is or altitude with money. That number can be positive or negative. But we need to know where you are now. That is the exercise of discover. Number two is stop digging. You see, the rule of holes has one rule. Stop digging. You can't dig your way out of a financial problem. You have to adjust and make effort at reconciling the outgo to the inflow in your home. That is done at stage two, and that is done through building a target LGS and a target net worth altitude. Number three is become the bank. And the way you become a bank in the very beginning steps is creating an emergency fund to operate like a bumper or an airbag, like in a car, to absorb unexpected events in life. And if you haven't noticed by now, you need to know now, life is messy and you need to accommodate the unexpected events. You're going to do that with an emergency fund bumper so that every event doesn't propel you into debt. Which brings us to step four. Step four is a debt assault. And you go after the elimination, the reduction and ultimate termination of every debt in your life. But if you do that prematurely, before you have an emergency fund to absorb your unexpected events, you're likely to perpetuate the cycle of debt and end up not ending your debt, but simply perpetuating it. So I've given you two stages to a prosperous soul today. Number one, you need to posture. Number two, you need to go to work on building your prosperous soul. The first part, posture, posturing, was breathe, realize, and settle. The second stage is the four steps of discover, the rule of holes, become the bank, and a debt assault. Now there is a third stage. And for those of you who are wondering, the first step in the third stage is called 
protect. It's defending what you have through wise and educated uh, design around you. A simple idea for that is a living trust, a revocable living trust. Now that opens up a can of worms that I don't have time to talk about today. But there is a chunk of perspective, like a pathway, that you can follow for this person who wants to become enough. All right? Well, that's all I have for today. I'm on my way tomorrow. For those of you who pray for my ministry, I'm on my way to Central America. I'll be within two days from now teaching in Guatemala City in several venues there, in several locations. I'm going to meet some new friends down there. I'm very excited to go to that place. After Guatemala City, I'll fly to Mexico City. And in Mexico, I'll return to some very good friends who I've ministered to, to, with his church before. And uh, I cannot wait, as always, to get back to my friends. So it's been a while since I've been to Mexico. It's been never since I've been to Guatemala. So when I go to new territories, I would appreciate your prayers. God bless you, and God bless your prosperous soul. Bye-bye. Cut. Okay. All done officially. I just want to see who's online. Appreciate you guys jumping in. I just love having the sense that there's somebody watching. You know, these videos are going on past the live, and a lot of folks watch them when they have the time, and that's really encouraging to watch. And so... I like that, but even more, I love having you guys online with me, <laughs> so I'm talking to somebody. John and Wayne, thank you guys. It's an honor to have you joining. Hello, Buffy. Thank you, girl. Good day to you as well, or as I'm learning, buenos dias <laughs> to my friends in, in, uh, in the in Spanish-speaking realm, and Donna Castle. Thanks for watching, Donna. It's great to have you all. Hey, Buffy. Thanks. Yeah, she replays. Oh, that's cool. I appreciate you replaying. Yeah, because I know I load a lot in these things, and we try to pack them with some good information for you to take your valuable time and actually walk away with something new. All right, I'm going to go and sign off. I've got a hectic day. Oh, my word. I'm trying to pack and arrange and plan and do all the things that are needed. I've got to record two more of these little guys, these little broadcasts, so that when I get there... I will, have, uh, I will have what needs to be done prepared so you guys can stay on your schedule. Hey, Antonio, great to have you. Thank you for being online. He says, you're welcome, Antonio. You're very welcome. And uh, Buffy asks a question. Do I do private mentoring? Absolutely. That's one of the primary uh, commitments in my time. My time is broken into three areas. That's itinerant work, and that's when I travel. That's writing. And that's when I'm quietly producing and creating new content and publishing. The third area is private mentoring or one-on-one -on -one meetings. And in that area, you'll find financial sozo, coaching, purpose training. All of those important things are sitting in there. If you're interested in that, it's easy to find. You would go to my website, stephenkdesilva.com. And up on the right side, there's some little drop-down menus. One is called... Schedule an appointment. And if you click on that, you will see a menu of all the kinds of things I do from all the varieties. Some are uh, inexpensive down into the, I think it's a $50 for some of my time for some quick question stuff, all the way up to multiple thousands of dollars depending on the level of service that you're interested in. I have a lot of folks that pull on me and it's super fun. So when you go on my website, you literally schedule your appointment into my calendar based around what I have available. You'll see my February is very empty for appointments because I'm gone. Yeah, and so I have some at the end of February available. I have smatterings throughout March, May, almost nothing available because, again, I'll be traveling. All right. So uh, there you go. I think, Buffy, you have your answer. She says, I'm in. How can we discuss this option? Yeah. You can, if you're wondering more about what is in there, there is a, a way to email me, contact us. That's just hello 
at stephenkdesilva.com. Ask me any question you want. I'll respond either with a link so that we can meet face-to-face at no cost and talk, or I'll just try to reply in the email if I can. All right? Thank you, Buffy, for the questions. I really appreciate you guys. Honest to goodness, I love you guys, and I appreciate you watching. And so, God bless you. God bless your homes. God bless your meals. And I just pray that you would begin to thrive in direct relationship to your participation in my ministry. I really pray you take that away and watch yourself prosper so that others would see. And that would be an evangelism of jealousy in your life toward those who don't know Christ yet. I pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Stephen K. De Silva, and you're probably wondering, why have I never heard this information before? Well, now you can by going up into this corner and subscribing to this channel. Or you can go to this corner and watch the next video. There is tons of information I'm giving you. Go check it out and go deeper. Or better yet, go to the link below and go check out my website. I've got some free stuff on there. Go get that and go see lots of resources so you can finally master your money. Hey, I got to go record another video. I'll see you soon. Bye.